Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do this look for you guys. It's kind of for the fall, the winter, that vampy kind of look. And I'm going to be using my new Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. And first I'm um, going to apply my primer for my eyes, which is from MAC and it's called Painterly. I'm going to put it all over my lids, up to my brow bone. And here it is. Look at my new palette, it's so pretty. This palette is so pretty. Don't mind the last row because I kind of messed it up, but yeah. First I'm gonna start with Bare and I'm gonna put it all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take it up to my brow bone. Now grabbing Teddy, this beautiful, beautiful brown shade. I'm gonna add it all over my crease as my transition color. Then I'm taking Spank, and it's a beautiful berry color. And I'm just really concentrating it on the crease. I wanted to do a cut crease, but it didn't work out. And I'll tell you my reasons why in a little bit. But for now, I'm just taking Teddy and blending it. And then, I mean Spank, and then I'm gonna use Teddy on top of that, just to kind of diffuse that that berry shade and kind of like blend it a little bit more just like so now I'm gonna use raw and I'm gonna really concentrate it on my crease and I'm gonna put it like on my outer crease going halfway into my crease so you guys this is the reason I couldn't do the cut crease the palette has a concealer inside and it just wasn't working out. It wasn't pigmented, it wasn't smooth. It just, it made the look very muddy. And I just couldn't do it. I didn't like it. I didn't like how it looked. It was hard to work with, so I ended up doing the cut crease. So after that, I take Fantasy, which is a pretty shimmery berry shade with a unique kind of splatter of pink shade. And I put it on my lid, just halfway. And then I'm gonna take Grave, which is the same concept as Fantasy, but with golds and yellow tones in it. And they're so pretty. I mean, this palette is amazing. I mean, the only thing I had to complain was about the conceal concealer. But that's about it. Other than that, very blendable, smooth, all that you want in a palette. Now I'm taking Play, and it's a pretty light peachy shade and I'm adding it to my brow bone because I don't know if you noticed my brow bones were like super super duper light and it just wasn't pretty it just did not look pretty on me so now I'm done with with the eyes for now and I'm gonna move on to my face and I'm gonna use my primer which is from Smashbox and it's a photo finish and then I'm using uh, my Benefit Professional to hide those pores because, you know, I have pores. There's no denying it. There's pores on my face. <laughs> now I'm using my NARS foundation, which is my go-to. And like, as you can see, I'm already like done with it. So I'm just getting whatever is in there. And I'm using the little stick from the pump to put it on my face. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my elf um, color corrector and I'm gonna put it in my inner corners and under my eyes to hide those dark circles because this mama doesn't sleep that much anymore and then I'm just gonna blend everything with a brush and I'm using a brush right now because I don't want to mess up my eyebrows or the makeup I already have on my eyes the eyeshadow so I just don't want to mess that up so with the brush you could be more precise And then I'm just gonna use my beauty blender, which is not a beauty blender, it's a, 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 oh, what am I forgetting? It's a sponge from Real Techniques, there you go. It happens, more than usual for me. <laughs> now I'm using my MAC Studio Concealer in Medium, and I'm just gonna go and conceal those under eye bags that I have, those shadows, and just make sure I make it all nice and vibrant so I can look awake and I can look like a normal human being. <laughs> but yeah, you guys.
So now that I'm done with my concealer, I'm gonna add some Laura Mercier translucent powder under my eyes just to make sure everything stays put. And I need to bake because if I don't bake, ugh, everything, like 30 minutes later, everything just goes downhill and I start creasing and it's, it's just uh, not so pretty thing to look at. So I have to bake for this. And now I also have to bake kind of like my laugh lines because now I have laugh lines, you guys. <laughs> but yeah. Now I'm going to use my bronzer from the Bomb Bahama Mama and I'm just going to bronze up my face because it kind of looks a little light. And um, I just want to give it some warmth to it. And I take it a little bit to, um, into my temples as well, just to make my face look a little longer. Now I'm using Frat Boy, and this blush is one of my favorite blushes. And it's from The Balm. I was talking to my husband, by the way. <laughs> now I'm using from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using um, her Glow Sugar Kit palette and I'm using Gundrop and it's one of my favorite um it's one of my favorite highlighters it's kind of like it has kind of a pinky shape to it so it's one of my favorites anything pink kind of pink highlighter I love now I'm going back to my eyes and I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs gel crayon in blacker and I'm just gonna tight line my eyes and just make sure I grab everything like on my waterline and I'm just gonna go a little bit above my eyelashes just like a tad bit not that much and I'm just gonna blend that with a pencil brush as you're gonna see right now oh it's more like a flat small flat shader brush and I'm just gonna blend everything like next to the lashes But like you see, I go back to Teddy and then I use um, Love Bite and I'm putting that under my eyes. Then I'm going to go back to Grave and I'm going to put it in my inner corner so I could like tie up that look. After that, I'm just going to off camera, I'm putting, I'm going to put on my lashes, my mascara, curl my eyelashes. All that jazz, so the look can be a little bit more completed. Now for my lippy lips, I'm gonna use my MAC lip liner in Night Moth. And I love this lip liner. This lip liner is like life for me. It's just like the perfect lip liner for this type of, um, for fall, for, for winter, when you wanna that deep red wine lip. This one is perfect, I love it. And I just fill in, fill in my lips just so they could like, whatever I put on next could really stay on, like last longer. Which, as you can see, I'm putting my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in LAX. And man, this stuff is so good. This stuff stays on like nobody's business. Like, oh my goodness. It's a good, good matte lipstick, liquid lipstick. And I think everybody should get it. So yeah, you guys, this is a finished look. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And everybody just have a blessed day. And don't forget, you guys, Jesus loves you. And I love you as well. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know, you guys. So, bye!